Okay, I'd like to share with you a finger independence exercise. We're going to go to the fifth position, and if you remember, position is indicated by where our first finger, our left hand first finger is. So if I say fifth position, it means I put my first finger on the fifth fret, and this area right here is the fifth position, and all the notes excuse me, all the notes, all these notes are in the fifth position because my first finger is on the fifth fret. So to begin with, I go to the fifth position, first string, and I plant my third and my fourth fingers, and that would be on the seventh and the eighth fret, and I just hold them there. So they, they stay put, I hold them. Then on the second string, on the 5th fret, I play the note with my 1st finger, and then the 6th fret with my 2nd finger. And I'm going to do that with the 2nd string, the 3rd string. This week we added the 4th string, and I'm going to go ahead and do all the strings. So 2nd through 6th, so you know what I'm talking about. Here we go. 2nd uh, string, I'm just going to go 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, two, three, four, one, two, and then I'm going to return and I go backwards. I start with my second finger going through my first finger and then I go to the next string, second, first, etc. So um, now I'm going to return on the sixth string. So I'm going to go three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this week we've only discussed the second string, the third string, and the fourth string, and I'll play that for you. So here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 I'll do that again. It's really important that three and four, that's my fingers now, they remain put. I've never lifted them off. They've always remained and, and I've continuously held pressure. Um, so I, I can actually play each note. I'm not asking you to do this, but I can play each, um, I can incorporate the first string with each pick so you can hear that I'm not uh, releasing tension. And I was just trying to or illustrate that I'm holding those down because that's part of the independence that you're gaining is your mind is controlling them to say, stay put three and four and then play one and two. Now the cool thing about this finger exercise is the next step would be to hold one and two and play three and four. I'll just give you a bonus right here. I'm not asking you to do it, but just so you know where we eventually are going to go. I hold one and two, and then beginning on the second string, I do... and then backwards. All the while, I've never let up on that, and I can play the strings together. Finger independence.